everyone, it's a new vlog. It's Monday, I've already got my nails done. It's Zoya Layton, it's from the new fall collection. It's really a purple with one coat, but two coats it's just dark and fall, even though it's not feeling like fall here. I'm gonna set you down on top of my candles. Hang on. Okay, that's easier. Just got back from the grocery store and I wanted to show you not an entire haul, but some gluten-free finds that I'm a little excited about. So I've been using the cup for cup gluten-free flour blend to cook like anything that requires flour basically. Um, but I'm just about out and I've been reading a lot of reviews that said the King Arthur brand is really good. So this is what I picked up. I will let you know if I notice a difference. Um, also we are trying the Barilla uh, brand for our gluten-free pasta because the, the kind we've been using, Ronzoni, our store no longer carries. I do not know why. Also, I pack this in Shane's lunch every day. These are Cliff Kid Z bars with extra protein, and they are now gluten free. Yay! Not everyone is, but the chocolate chip one is, and they have a chocolate chip peanut butter one that is as well. Also, um, I found these, and this is going to be our special dessert. It is from the brand Cats, and they are basically gluten free Twinkies. Gluten free and dairy free in this case. Gluten free, dairy free, nut free, soy free. Cat's Heavenly Cream Cakes. I found these in the freezer section. And then I am making beef stew for dinner tomorrow night. It's like a big heavy meal. Tomorrow night is um, Yom, Kipp Yom Kippur starts. It's our day of atonement with fast from, technically it's sundown to sundown. In my world, it's after dinner to dinner. So our big dinner is gonna be a big heavy beef stew and all that, so um, I'm giving my beef stew recipe a little boost. One of the reviews I read said adding this helps, some sort of beef stew seasoning, and I found this one from the brand Orrington Farms, and it is gluten-free. No artificial color flavors and contains sea salt. Vegetable beef, they also have a pot roast seasoning. And then, I, this is not, well, I guess technically they're gluten-free because they're carrots, so the recipe calls for carrots and potatoes, but I thought we would have a little fun, and I found these. Um, organic rainbow carrots. How cute are these? And they're already peeled, so I just have to dice these up. Look at all the colors. Very excited. And then for my potatoes, I also got, I got a couple bags of these, but you have your normal yellow and red, and then they've purple. They're technically purple. And when you cut them open, they're purple. So that's it. I gotta get all the stuff put up, and then Michael and I are gonna go grab a little bit of lunch. So that's my Monday for you. And tonight is our last back to school night. It's with parents go back to school and without the kids and we go from class to class and meet all of our kids teachers and every year it's kind of funny. I go, we go every year but freshman year like all the classes are full of parents and then each year they're less and less and less so senior year there'll probably be like three parents in the classroom. It's kind of sad because it's really your only time to meet your kids teachers so it's nice to put a face to a name I'm sure on both sides. Oh my god, I'm so sad. This is my last one. It's not even my mom. I don't even get to keep this. I need a mom. I'm picking up Shane's girlfriend's mom. I was gonna say Shane's mom, but Shane, this is not Shane's mom. This is Brooke's mom. Look at this magnificence. Okay, just for scale. Um, let's see. I'm, it, look, seriously, it's like boob height. Three and a half. It's three and a half feet long, and the, the maker does not want to appear on the vlog today. But I will list her information in the description box under Monday. She makes the most beautiful mums in San Antonio. Oh my gosh, look at there's rhinestones or crystals on all the letters. And look at my glitter football. I say mine, like I had, no, it's not mine. Look at the, look at the little, okay, I'll stop. But I love this, this is so cool. Okay, she, she's gonna be clanking and this is beautiful, and there's all, look at like other people are picking theirs up. Look at the pink! Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Anyway, she is going to love this, and I am only doing this because by the time this goes up, she'll already have her mom. And this is it, this is the last mom I'm ever gonna buy. Good evening. We are actually just about to leave for Kol Nidre Services. I have spent most of the day in bed. Um, I didn't vlog a lot over the weekend, but Michael's been sick with some kind of cold. We were hoping it was just allergies, but based on how I've been feeling the last 24 hours, it's a cold, <clears throat> and I caught it. Anyway, um, dragged myself out of bed, got myself dressed, and I'm wearing lots of old things, so I will just show you real quickly. Hang on. This is a halogen dress that's actually currently available the last time I checked, but not this print. I got it last year in the anniversary sale, and they have it out again in different... 
it's like a little drop waist, little ruffled pleat, buttons up the back. Um, and then these shoes are really old. Um, they're from Stuart Weitzman. I can't remember the, I was going to say the model, but you know what I mean. Um, I think they still make this shoe, but again, the actual color, it's this like cranberry maroon patent they no longer make. And then the makeup is just really soft and simple. Um, I'll list all that in the description box if you're interested. And um, we're off. The beef stew was a hit. I will leave that recipe below as well. I made some beer bread with gluten-free flour and that worked out really well too. So I will leave that recipe. Um, use the King Arthur, the cup for cup flour, gluten-free flour. And uh, that's it. I don't know if I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. It's a big holiday and I think I really want to film it. So I'll spend, be in the synagogue for most of it. Anyway, I will catch you on the other side of this holiday. And obviously, those of you who celebrate Yom Kippur have already fasted, but belatedly I'm wishing all of you a good fast. So, and an easy one too. See you on Thursday. It's now Thursday and uh, it's dark and gloomy again. Today's agenda is I need to take pictures. I'm doing a blog post, not a video, a blog post for Bloomingdale's. And it is, I've decided it's going to be different ways to wear the same basic black dress. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that, except that it's, it was pouring down rain and it's supposed to start pouring down rain again. So I have a small window. I need to get my button gear and get dressed. But um, I just want to share with you, my little man is sick. Wrigley had a little upset tummy last night. He's taking a little rest. So we pinned him up in here. Um, the closet doors were shut because he was having some upset stomach issues last night and I didn't want to keep him in his crate in case, you know, it's just easy, let's not be gross, but it is easier to clean up stuff. And I have a little bowl of rice for him that he did not finish and some water. So I'm just keeping an eye on him and if things do not improve in the next couple of hours, we'll be visiting the vet. But um, he's a big sleeper, so this is not actually new for him. He does sleep in in the mornings. He's my dog that, like, if it were up to him, he would, he's like a cat. He just loves to sleep. So that's not alarming, but I do want him to get up and have some water. So I will let you know how that goes. I just wanted to pop in, but now I need to get dressed and steam my dress a little bit and get my accessories together and get ready for this little uh, photo shoot I have planned in my head now to get it to execution. Okay, mission was successful. We got all our pictures in. I got like three different outfit shots, sort of. It's hard to explain. You'll see the blog post eventually. <clears throat> Allergies are kicking right back in again, and we managed to avoid the rain as well, and finished up all of our shooting before a security card came up and said, what are y'all doing? We could have stayed, but it would have been really embarrassing. So now I'm gonna go home and write up my little post and get some soup. It's, it's very high mold. That's what's happening. That's what's happening in here. This is why I can't vlog because Rowdy's a little not happy about rain. He's using me as a... Okay, can I put... Rowdy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I mean, seriously. This is not okay. I cannot breathe. He just loves you, babe. He just snorted. Can you please move your head? I cannot breathe like this. He picked up that habit in the Motel 6 in Seattle when I picked him up. This when dog is such a brat. You're using my... Do you have an interesting pillow, my friend. You good boy. He's a good boy. To go wash my hair. Sorry, dude. I have to, it's a hair washing night. He's a good boy. Good morning. I am about to film vlog style 
my hair tutorial. So yes, I woke up like this, not like this, but my hair um, with the in shower styler from Living Proof. So now I'm gonna film how I style because this needs a little, needs a little, not a lot, I think. It's not bad, but it needs a little help. Um, and this is the current filming setup. Very glamorous. I gotta put this in that. And there are my tools ready to go. Notes on a video for the following week. This hair tutorial is actually coming out much later, but I figured since I washed my hair last night, perfect. And this is the mess of me putting on my makeup. It's filming day. I'm gonna film this video. I'm gonna film a fashion haul for Nordstrom, from Nordstrom for Nordstrom. And I kinda wanna film my September favorites today, but that's being very ambitious. I also have to make a quick run to CVS to pick up some stuff for a video I wanna film tomorrow. Um, I'm filming a face of all Allure Beauty Favorite award winners. And I actually own almost every, something from every category, but there's a few I don't. So, always an excuse to shop. So let's get started. Okay, the video is done and the magic of YouTube. I am all dressed from here up, but I'm in joggers from here down. Pick these, these are the ones that replace the ones that Rowdy ate, same brand. So anyway, now onto the next video, which uh, I kind of have staged. No, I have staged already, mostly. I just have to iron some stuff right here. These are the pieces, it's not a lot, right there. Well, and there's some shoes and some other goodies. But, yep, and this is stuff, wait, no, this is not, this is stuff I've been too lazy to hang up. And then this is, like, all my linen pants, which I think they need to be put up in my other closet, my, like, guest room closet, because they're taking up a lot of room, and I'm not a rule follower for clothes, but I don't think you can wear linen at this point in the year. So, okay, this piece is bugging me. This is going to have to get fixed. Excuse me. Actually, I'm going to leave it alone. It will fall. And that will be that. All right, on to outfit number, well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many. And then there'll be another outfit for the football game tonight. <sighs> I'm at CVS and I'm getting some stuff for a video I'm filming tomorrow about the Allure Beauty Winners. And I've been stalking this display for two weeks because I've seen everyone on the internet talking about this and it's empty. Come on, CVS. It's more of this K-pop beauty stuff, the Joa line, and it's fully ready to go. We just need some product. I'm very excited about it. Who else is excited about it? I'm pretty excited. Okay, we got it. Oh, hey! Okay, so we're doing a little tailgating. Yes. Yeah, so we came across these ladies doing some glittering. Okay, let me see my glitter. Your glitter looks good. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> we're here volunteering. Yes. So I need to oh, we got to beat Johnson. Yeah. JT's yeah, so stressed out about it. So. Oh, nice. Can I get some glitter? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm like, that's great. Can I get some glitter? It's your turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like they said saliva way. works too, yeah. but we're gonna not. We're gonna just like, go with we'll right okay, saliva. I think right here. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Tell oh, me your name. I'm Avery. I'm, I'm vlogging. Nice yes. You. You. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah, you so guys cute. are cute. No, she's gorgeous. Beautiful. She's gorgeous. You're gorgeous I'm too. Are you kidding? I'm green now. No, now I. They're okay. So she has a fixed. Like, what? Okay, so you want to like dip it in there and then put it where you feel it. And how does one get this? Just let her do it. She does it great. I think it just like wash it. Oh, and I like it on your nails too. Oh yeah, you know it's no big deal. You can put on my shirt. Who needs fifty dollars nails from Benicia? Okay, congrats. Oh, you got like. You got accepted, like you're playing soccer yes. for oh, yeah. Oklahoma. Yes. Oh, that's Oklahoma. right! That's awesome! Congratulations! Girl, like, thank I you. just saw that on Twitter. JT's always loved that you're a sports Ooh, girl. Ooh, look at me! I got glitter! Like, that's, I think I need to probably like, the only girl that boy can hang out. I can do that. You know? Girl, hold on. Yeah. All right, we have to finish glittering. Because he's a little over. All right, ladies, we are rocking <laughs> our pretty. highlight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's okay. go. We are at the uh, Ole Miss watch party and the lighting is terrible. There it is behind me. Let's see if we can do this. We're handing out freebies. So I picked up an Ole Miss hat. I'm gonna give this to Shane. I got a big old fridge magnet. Very exciting. And I pulled out my red bag. So I'm all on red today. Um, I don't even know. You know, I'm not 
outside. There's nobody actually here. So anyway, um, she's so cute. Yeah. And there's like, I wish I could show you this little girl, but she's like, I don't know. How old do you think that little girl is? Like a year? Maybe? I don't know. She's kind of tiny in one of those little smocked dresses and she's so cute. And it says Ole Miss. And anyway. So, I bet some of you are asking, why do you go to Ole Miss parties? You are not an Ole Miss alumni. Because the parents of kids go here too. So we meet other parents and recent alumni are here. So we can't like get the scoop on stuff and find out things about, you know, they recommend professors, things like that. So anyway, it's a way to stay connected even though they're two states away. So I'm gonna go eat my burger, which just got delivered and keep watching the game. It is Sunday, 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 Sunday. And we're just leaving our favorite Walmart. If you're in San Antonio, it's the one off 46 and 281. It's a little bit out of the way for us, but it's nice and quiet and easy to get in and out of. It's also very cloudy today, and yet not supposed to rain, strangely. I can't help myself. I bought the only palette I don't have from Milani. It's the Pure Passion one. Let's open it together. Okay, I don't normally like this whole pink thing happening. But I, there's enough shades in here that I really wanted to combine with what I already have. And I find these to be quite wearable. So, we shall see. I apologize for the sniffing you've been hearing throughout this vlog. It's either been Michael, Mr. Sniffer over here, or myself. Because we are both struggling with allergies. Because while San Antonio is not desert-like, it's pretty dry. And lately it's not been dry, which is great. We need it, but we're not used to all the mold and allergens that come with the rain. They sound like a frog. We're looking at model homes, trying to like, we like to plan. So we're trying to figure out, do we want to stay where we are and renovate? Do we want to build? Do we, well, we don't know what we want to do. So we're in a model home and right now I want to move. <laughs> I want everything new and fresh and clean and pretty. Look at this kitchen. I just like the new really, really big um, islands and I just have to decide if I can live with basically one living area which I know is not a hard thing to do but downsizing is a hard concept for me I'm a hoarder a little bit but I really like this huge kitchen I could get used to this so I'll show you a little bit more around as I get more into the, the um, bedroom the way they have it set up. It's really lovely. And then, oh I bet this doesn't have a tub, that's why it has such a big, yeah. Hello everyone, I really like this concept. If we stay put in our house, I want to add this kind of tower of cabinets because we have a lot of counter space and it just seems like not enough storage. And that's a really good idea. In lieu of a linen closet, so that's really cool. Hello, there's my outfit of the day. <laughs> You've seen this, and since we're doing the whole outfit, these are my shoes that I, my low heel boots I picked up in the uh, anniversary sale. I don't, I don't know if they're still around, but you know the drill. If they are, I like them. They're very comfortable. Yeah, this is a huge walk-in shower. I mean, I like the idea of it, but I feel like I would get cold. I don't know. Does anyone have walk-in shower? Do you get cold? This, however, I could deal with. I don't know if you can gauge how long this is. I'd say this is about maybe 15 feet. That's a lot of closet. Wow. This is how we're gonna end the vlog. We just were rocking onto the clubhouse from dinner and we see this guy going at it. It's a little grainy. Sorry, I'm zooming in. So, I'm gonna figure out how to get past him without irritating him and uh, we will wish you a good night. Thank you for following me for another week of fun and uh, the usual stuff. Subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, I guess they eat grubs. Okay, anyway, have a good one guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.